Don't cause yourself more suffering. Most of us have been crossed by some type of friend. We may have dated somebody that crossed us. Your mama probably crossed you. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe your daddy, you feel me? Maybe your sibling, your brother, your sister. Don't cause yourself more trauma. And what I mean by that is I get it. We get in those modes where we frustrated. We get in those modes where we kind of start dwelling in the past. We start, we start dwelling in what's currently going on with the spiritual warfare, the toxic stuff. I heard the narcissists, psychopaths, sociopaths, type of toxic people, everybody that's following, you know, the NPCs, whatever you want to call them. We get so wrapped up in the fact that this world is toxic and demonic that we will dwell in it. But we kind of have to center ourselves. Take a deep breath. I was laughing when this video started because like I'm one of those people that push through. I persevere, persevere, but I do get in those moods sometimes where I truly will be like, dang, and I get it. You probably do too. I get in those moments like, dang, how can my own family cross me? How can my own friend that I did so much for cross me? How can that partner that I loved so much, that I did so much for, how can they do that to me? And I get in those modes where, and it's normal to do that, you feel what I'm saying? But you don't want to stay in those modes too much because you will cause yourself more trauma. You feel what I'm saying? It's one thing to, to accept something and kind of like, allow yourself to feel that emotion but it's another thing to um stay in that emotion and kind of walk with it and live with it and, and, and be angry and frustrated like every five seconds now yeah you might go through that but like it's so many ways to change your vibration by changing the things you eat changing the things you're listening to and even feeling that emotion crying if you got to punch a wall don't punch a wall if you don't own that place you feel me but like what i mean by it, it's so much information out here it's so many ways for you to process what you've been through in a sense. So just keep digging, keep learning, keep like diving into becoming better, personal development, because we got the potential to do that. So it makes no sense for us specifically to um, cause ourselves more trauma or, or indulge in, in, in a toxic but We came from toxicity you came from a toxic family you came from dealing with toxic friends you you moved on you you not you know what i'm saying that's why every state that i've been through currently you feel what i'm saying i try to move with the new energy or the or the new um vibration that i'm on or the bible scriptures i connected to or the personal development that i've done you feel me you already stepped into that new phase you already know what's up mentally you already know what's up from your past situation you feel what i'm saying so Lock in to those people that you left. Don't lock into their energy and then put it on like armor and just be like, yeah, I'm gonna be angry at everybody, even when I'm in the store. If somebody passes me, you know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. No, bro. Move forward with your new knowledge, move forward with your new vibration. Feel those feelings from the past, but let them go the best way you can. You know what I'm saying? Move with what you know, let that go. Move with what you know, let that go. Ooh, you know. That's why I'm a music artist, you feel me? It's like, no, but yeah, let that go. Let that go. It's hard, I know, I get it. Trust me, been there, done it, you feel me? But don't cause yourself more trauma. Attaching yourself to old vibrations, attaching yourself to people that don't even rock with you. You know what I mean? You got the, you, you know what I mean? You got the knowledge for a reason. You got the knowledge for a reason. Alright, mom, it's your boy Josh Different. I'm different, you different. Thank you.